All right, hey guys, what's up? It's a cool your detective here investigating your favorite insane shit. Yes! So uh, today, uh, right now as I'm speaking, it's um, 1227 afternoon on May 21st. And yesterday's a special day. Today's also going to be a special day because I'll be seeing Death Grips live. Fuck yeah, baby. Uh, this is one of my biggest dreams uh, I've ever had, uh, is to see MC Ride and Zach Hill and Andy Morin in person, performing some of the best music I've ever listened to. And um, yeah, today's also a little bit complicated because before going to the Death Grips concert, I have to meet up with my film class professor, Professor Cuchillo, the knife, as well as Benny. Uh, to do some impromptu location scouting, which is absolutely uh, anxiety-inducing. Um, but as the location manager, I have to do it. So I'm going to leave like right now. But uh, just so you know, I'm not going to bring any bags. I have my earplugs ready because I got to protect my ears. And uh, also, I'm going to bring a water bottle with me. And uh, I'm going to dispose this water bottle like immediately after I leave. Um, like after, uh, before I enter the venue, but, um, I'm going to do location scouting and then I and my Taiwanese friend, Ken, will meet up, um, at our college campus and then we'll directly go there. We'll eat there. Um, I'll have my wallet with me, my portable charger, plastic bag, and I think that's all I need. Yes. All right. I'm in my fit. Literally the same set of clothes and shoes and socks I wore like <laughs> two days ago. Got a water bottle, got my earplugs and portable charger here. Got my wallet and my earbuds here. Got a plastic bag here. Here we go, baby. Today's the day. Like what? Kind of cost. I feel, I feel like there's a couple people that are just complaining, complaining to try and cause conflict. Well, I mean, that's a sort of thing that... that it... Thinking of actually filming there. All right, we are here at CMD again. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! What what changes did he make exactly? Uh, I could get. So expensive. No there way. are already some people lining up. Wait. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Whoa. there it is, yeah. That's not long though. Oops. All right. Damn, you're a good one. I am actually recording this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, like, make a quote-unquote short film about this. Yeah, just make sure you don't include my the pure pressure in the fucking video. Okay, this part is silent. Oh wow. This is easy All right, what, what this is definitely how Death Grips at, fans look like. So look the, up some shit to the Junji Ito shirt, the hoodies, just sitting on the floor, listening to music on the phone. The junkies. Yep. It's people like us. We got Jesse Ware, Run the Jewels, and Macklemore. Damn. I'm just going to Starbucks. Really? Bob Daddy. That's pretty cool. Bob Daddy. Noodle, Noodle World Junior. Huh? Why is nobody in there? Smash me, baby. This definitely um, 
not a money laundering scheme. Oh, wait, there's a Papa John's? Time for some Papa John's. Okay, here we go. I've actually never tried Papa John's before. It's like pretty good. Solid. Okay. Now we're going to Denny's again. Oh boy. What is this? What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I got onion rings and Cali club sandwich. Eating it with a fork, like a gentleman. Forty-six. It'll do. Entrance? What? Damn. This does seem like a death grips line. Are they lined up for the parking? I know there. It's probably because there are two lines. Like, there are two entrances. I mean, yeah, let's just do this one. Let's fucking go. It would be cooler. Wait, it's 7 p.m.? It would be cooler. That's all. That's better because we can go in like earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it's 7 30, not 7. I mean, I thought it was 7 32. Bro, but... so that was the front of the line. Shit. I mean,. Now, now it makes sense. It's not two lines. It's just one line. I mean, of course, the first guy in line is, has pink hair. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's so it's, grips. Yeah. So grips. So noited. These security guards are not fucking real, man. They're not fucking real. That is the greatest shirt I ever <laughs> Oh god. They're definitely Death Grips fans. They're definitely Death Grips fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's what's the time even? It's like 608. Doors are already open. Doors open early. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do this. Yo. Oh, there there are more lines. Damn. That's great. That's kind oh, of that crazy. guy with the, with the ex-military shirt. That's nice. Oh. Oh. 
can't bring eye drops, what? I should have worn a black shirt or something. I mean, yeah, you would have fit in better. Are there Bruh, what the hell? What the hell? I'm getting PTSD. Also, I have like no storage space Bro, left. Bro, if someone like sells <laughs> Yo, Stefan! <laughs> God damn. Oh, what the hell? They are definitely Death Grips fans. They're definitely Death Grips fans. Oh boy. Berserk shirt. Young Lean. Like a Doge shirt. Damn, they got the army here trying to. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Oh boy, what have I done? <laughs> oh boy. Hollywood Palladium? Here we fucking go. Wait, this, this place is fancy. It's like a hotel. <laughs> have you have you been here before? No. Wait, merch all the way down, take a left. Uh, I don't. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, merch, 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 merch. Gotta go get it, gotta go get it, gotta go get it. No way they don't have CDs. No way. I'm disappointed. Like the song. This one's really cool. I'm being trolled. Yeah, I'll have uh, number four, uh, extra large. Okay, anything else? Uh, nothing else. Here we fucking go, boys. I got the merch. I do prefer the other hoodie, but fuck it. Bro, this is like, this is probably the closest I've been to a fucking concert. Oh really? I've never been this close. Damn, we'll get MC Ride in 4K! Before the before the show.
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow, we're actually exchanging IGs. Maybe that's This guy, dude. <laughs> this this motherfucker. I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I already did. Yeah. I can't see anything. What I'm here for.
I know the first three numbers. What's the first? No, no. That was the best fucking show. Oh my god. Let's go. There's so many people, god damn. <laughs> what? There's so many people. I mean, yeah, bro. It's the grips. Key grips. Key grip. Oh my god, the film. It's coming back, the PTSD. Fuck. Oh shit. What? <laughs> you, you sweat it eat way more than me. Oh my god. You, you sweat it way more than me. You're like covered in sweat. Like, I, I'm like, I'm so calm and collected. It's really jumping, bro. It's jumping like that. Got your shit? Yeah, I was expecting them to play there. Yeah. What the fuck? They didn't play the weird. Feeling a strong nine to a ten. Why does it smell like hot dogs? Cause they're actually making some. Bro, bro, get me out of here. All right, so time now is twelve sixteen. Um. After midnight, I just came back home, took a gigantic shower, um, and uh, yeah, let's talk about the Death Grips experience. Holy shit. Uh, dream come true. Um, ever since I've been a fan of Death Grips in 2017, I have been dreaming of seeing them in person. And today's the day I saw them in the flesh, and it is amazing. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Um, I would say that I wish I could get closer to the stage. Because in the Aobajiko concert, I got really close and the experience was way more visceral. This one felt more like a listening party. You know, it's a complete different vibe from Aobajiko. Aobajiko was like one-on-one. -on -one. was nearly like one-on-one. -on -one. Like I was in the same room with her and she's singing for me. This one is more like a gigantic listening party, which is extremely hype. Um, so when the set, so it was such a long wait, but it was sort of worth it. And I was carrying a plastic bag of merch like an idiot and I was charging my phone. I was hoping that like my phone wouldn't run out of battery or run out of storage. I was really scared of that. And that never really happened. It didn't run out of battery. It didn't run out of storage. It worked pretty much exactly fine. So we, um, yeah, we waited for like two hours. People were smoking weed, cigarettes, vaping. It was so thick. Um, but again, like me being in LA, I'm already used to that like smell. So not used to, but like, I'm not like that, you know, shook by it or anything. Um, and it's so weird because a lot of people, most of the people I see in that concert hall, in that stadium were like skinny twinks, chron chronically online, skinny twinks. That are just weirdos with piercings, goths, and emos. <laughs> and then there's me, who's wearing like very comfortable clothes, looking like an idiot. Um, but it was such a great show. Like I, I really enjoyed a lot of it. So Death Grips finally came on stage at nine, and they immediately started playing System Blower, without warning. Um, and holy crap! The moment the song started, people started crushing in from behind me. And, and like squashing me. And then people from the front started to push me back. So I kept being pushed forth and back and forth and back. And then left and right and left and right. I was squished. 
And at that point, it was absolutely insane. Like I could barely stand still and it was really intense. And all I wanted to do was to protect my phone and also protect my head. So I, I had my arms like this and I just, and it was almost fun <laughs> in a way. Like, of course it, it, it's like bad. It could have turned into a crowd crush, but I feel like we're far away from it being a crowd crush, but it felt nearly like a crowd crush. And at that point, my goal wasn't even to like listen to music. At that point, it was like survival. It wasn't even like enjoying the music. It was just survival. And honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of System Blower anyways. Um, and then I've seen footage comes on and it was amazing. And I was like both running out of breath, trying to survive while, while literally jumping up and down. I've seen footage. I've seen footage, which is so fucking hype. And I and Ken managed to scoot our ways really, really back. To the point where we, we we basically left the zone. So at the very core of the crowd, it's like people going insane constantly for two hours straight. And then the next zone is like people still vibing, jumping left and right, but way less intense. And then the next zone is just people standing and nodding and like vibing a little bit. And then there's a zone where it's just like people are just standing, not really knowing what's happening. I'm in between the, the last two zones. So I'm still standing and I'm vibing. I'm like... Like head banging and I'm shaking my head. I jumped a little bit. I like sang and shouted uh, to the lyrics, which is awesome. But the people standing be behind me at that point, a lot of them were like oblivious to what's going on. They're just like, oh my God, what's this crazy noisy music? And I understand that feeling. Like imagine if I'm not a Death Grips fan and I just hear a bunch of people shout and scream a lot of swear words and the music is just pure industrial noise. I would be pretty confused. But I'm into this fucking shit. Yeah. Um, and it was awesome, really. Um, that was awesome. No Love was amazing. Um, I was like, too many hoes in my motherfucking meals. And, and there's a guy standing beside me, another Asian dude, who's also really vibing really hard. He heard me and he looked at me and he's like, yeah, you know, that guy knows what's up. So that was really cool. Also, before the show began, there's this really extroverted, loud-mouthed woman who asked for my name and Ken's name and everyone around her and asked for our signs, like our astrology, and like asked for our Instagrams. And I kindly gave it to her. But yeah, it was pretty weird. Um, at some point, I scrolled through Instagram and Twitter and it had like, like, like anime on it. And it's like so, you know, such a Death Grips fan moment. Um, and somebody in the back was like, oh, that's hentai. I don't know if that guy's talking to me or like talking to another person because he's also simultaneously having a conversation with another guy. You know, I'm really surprised that even though today was absolutely insane and I lost myself and everyone had amazing fun, I still managed to keep my composure. Like I'm still holding onto my plastic bag. I'm still carefully holding onto my phone. And when someone had to pass through, I, I was actually like giving way. I wasn't like being mean or anything. I still had my composure the whole time but at the same time really vibing to the songs um giving back people good idea when it started playing i knew the beat drop is gonna generate a mosh pit and it generated a tiny mosh pit in front of me and ken started like pushing people into the pit um death grips is online it's fucking lit it was amazing uh and bonnie was great bb poison was great those two tracks are less known so a lot of people, even in front of me, some people were just like, no idea what that song is. But I love BB Poison. I love Ann Bonnie. Uh, Have a Sad Come BB. Not, I mean, I love the track, but like in the middle of a set, it sort of stuck out like a sore thumb. And then there are tracks like Lost Boys, which I'm not really huge about. Um, in Anime Sensation is amazing. And people should have moshed way harder. Um, because in Anime Sensation was like a lot of up and down. So whenever it goes down, people just stop moshing and stop jumping. And it's like, it's so hype though. Um, and then the set and ended with Hacker, which is amazing. I filmed the whole thing. I loved it. I screamed, I'm in your area. And everyone like jumped around. It was amazing. The guillotine was amazing. Everyone was like, yeah. And you could hear the guillotine sound, the slashing sound. It, it was so clear and clean. Black paint was amazing. I'm a little disappointed they didn't play eh. Or um, uh, or beware, which would be really fire. Um, Tachyon was fucking amazing. Um, overall, it's just a really good set. Just two hours of solid, 
pumping hype. And I didn't feel that tired after it. I don't know why, maybe I didn't jump and mosh enough. Um, but um, yeah, and I did sweat, but not that much. At some point, somebody sprayed wine all over me and all over some other people, but only a few droplets like hit me. But yeah, that was something. Um, yeah, that was pretty much something. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed the show and I feel like a psycho now because like there are two types of Death Grips fans. There are the fans that are really, really into the music and they're like super extroverted and loud and like swears and drinks and smokes and fucks snorts cocaine and there's the quiet type the introverted death grips fan who is skinny chronically online very quiet but is like a fucking psycho like like just just a very messed up person in the inside i feel like i'm the latter you know <laughs> nah but in all seriousness it's a really good show and i enjoyed it it's great i survived it